There's a beautiful study done by, that was done in response to none other than Wim Hof, believe it or not. There's a really beautiful quality scientific study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences where they had two groups of people. One group meditated, the other group did Wim Hof type breathing. So what we call in the laboratory cyclic hyperventilation. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale 25 times. <sighs> forceful inhales and forceful exhales. Then hold your breath, lungs empty for 15 seconds, repeat for about three rounds. What does that do? Why do you heat up adrenaline? It's such a generic thing. It's adrenaline. You could have gotten into an ice bath, adrenaline. You could have someone shout in your face, adrenaline. It's just adrenaline. What, what did they do? They injected both groups of people with E. coli, injected them with E. coli. One group gets nauseous, vomiting, and feels sick. The group that does this cyclic hyperventilation, Wim Hof, also called tumotype breathing, far fewer symptoms, if any, including lack of fever. So why? Well, they were able to combat the, the attack of this bacteria. So if you're coming off of a hard bout of work and you're starting to relax into vacation, you would be wise to still get into some cold water. You would be wise to still do some cyclic hyperventilation breathing. Certainly don't do those at the same time. A number of people actually have died doing cyclic hyperventilation and then doing breath holds because when you exhale a lot of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is the trigger to breathe. This is really important. If, if you do hyperventilation and then you hold your breath, 